Hello YouTubers, my name is Flexo013 and welcome to part 7 of our world edit tutorial. This time we'll be talking about brushes and everything you can do with it. So first off let's start by getting us a few tools that we can turn into brushes. Like an axe or a pickaxe or a shovel of any material would be fine. So let's just say we will use these six tools as brushes. So first off, let's fly a high engineer so we can see what we're doing. The command we will be using is slash slash brush for short slash slash br. Then space, and we we now we can uh, define a certain shape that we will uh, bind to the brush. Uh, by default, I like to use sphere because it's pretty straightforward and uh, very easy to use. Now we will specify the block type that we will generate. So let's say we want stone, which is regular one. That's smooth stone. And now we can uh, set the radius with a maximum radius of 5. So first let's do 4. And now it will say sphere brush shape equipped and it will uh, tell you the size which is 4. And if I right click at the floor right now it will create a stone sphere like I uh, with the radius of 4 and if I click again it will do it again and I am clicking at the center of the uh, block where the sphere will generate so I could use this to create mountains very easy or nice arches like this one it, it doesn't really look smooth right now but we will get to that in a few seconds so this is our main structure for an arch what can we do next? Well, we can do uh, bind another brush with a smaller uh, size. So let's say uh, two. Now we can generate smaller bits and chunks for our arch. There we go. And by the way, the range of this thing is unlimited. There we go. That's that's as we on a tree. And you can also undo this. There we go. Sphere on the tree is gone. Okay. And we could... Uh, uh, the next thing we will use is the slash material command. Which is slash material. Or slash mat for short. This will change the material of your current brush. So we have our uh, brush with the brush, si brush size 2 selected right now. So if we want to change the stone material into, let's say, cobblestone, which is f code 4, I will now generate spheres with a diameter of, uh, or with a radius of 4 of 2, with uh, made out of cobblestone. As you can see, and I could also uh, change the size of the uh, of the brush. Let's say I want to change the size of my current brush to something a little bit smaller. So let's say I want to make the size of one. Then we simply use the slash size command. Do not confuse this with slash slash size because that's a command which will tell you that uh, I'm. Uh, the uh, how big your selection is not it will not change your brush brush size so slash slash size it will say brush size set and as you can see my brush is suddenly a lot smaller so the next thing you can do with brushes I will switch to my uh, currently unbound iron shovel is the slash slash or um is slash slash brush smooth. For this command you don't have to uh, specify any radius. You can do it but the default, default settings are fine for this. If you really want to add a radius just put numbers behind it like 2 space 4. 
And now if I right click, I will smooth out these, this generated structure to make it look more natural and less sphere-like. Because right now it doesn't look like anything nice does it. So a little bit like this. And it will smooth out the edges nice, nicely. And we would we um, are making our arch a lot nicer with the brush that's smoothing. Okay, let's set time again so you can see everything clearly. Okay, and then next thing is uh, a different shape, which is uh, the cylinders. So that would be slash slash cylinder instead of sphere and then a block type which will be four this time which is cobblestone and then a radius which will be three and then a height which will be two there we go if I click over there you see the height is two the diameter is th or the radius is three and it's made out of cobblestone so you could use this for to let's say generate a nice pathway very easily and then the next brush we will be using is slash slash brush gravity this block will make uh, or this brush will make blocks behave like they are uh, obeying to gravity like sand and gravel and oh, there we go it's it's obeying just like gravel I could do it on over here and then my selected blocks will act like they are obeying to gravity which can be really nice to uh, deform structures to make them look old and you you can um, specify the radius to make it a little bit smaller because this is can have way more effect than you want to ha to have so but you can also do slash slash undo with this brush you can do that with any brush and uh, now I we I will talk about the mask command let's say you have something like this over here a nice grass field but it has some stone on it and you want to remove this stone and turn it into grass how will you do it simply use the brush command you can create beaches or every anything I will show you how to do this you will simply create a brush sphere as I uh, is the default option for me and it will have a radi or we will want to change the blocks into grass which has the ID number two with a radius of five and there we go but if I click now I will have a regular grass sphere and that's not what we want so let's undo that how will we uh, fix that? Simply by using slash mask. This will create a mask that uh, includes the block type of blocks you want to edit. So let's say we only want to edit the uh, stone blocks over here and we want to change them into grass. Then we simply do uh, in enter the ID number of blocks that are stone and then I can easily fix this. I could also do um, set make a different brush that doesn't yeah, create uh, grass but sand and then I could set my mask to grass and let's say I want a beach over here and now I have created my own little sandy beach it's quite light but as you can see it's sand and with your brush you can still right or left click without any trouble the other button will uh, use the, uh, the brush but as you can see the dirt didn't change only grass blocks did so how to fix that you can simply uh, use a, a mask with multiple blocks at the same time. So grass and dirt for instance. Now it will uh, change grass into sand and dirt into sand. Which is really handy. As you can see the stone stays. So uh, 
you could create beaches or anything with this. And uh, that's the regular brushes, and I have one more thing to show you guys. Oh, I will use a golden shovel for that. And that is the slash flood fill. This command will fill everything like we just did with the mask, but it's a little bit faster. So let's say we want to change grass into sand, and we want to have a radius of uh, 3. And now we have the flood fill tool bound to the golden shovel. And now if I click a certain block type, it will create on this layer, it won't go down a layer, or uh, it will, but I will show you how, um, and it will create sand in the spe specified radius. So that's three for now. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. But what else can you do with this? Let me take one block of grass because below this block over here is dirt so these are not connected right now if I click this block over here with my flood fill it will also spread downwards because it's looking for every grass block within the radius and since this block underneath here is not a grass block it will not be connected to the grass part down here so that's why I placed a gra uh, grass block over here so that's pretty much everything you need to know about brushes and if you want to unbind one of your items like the golden shovel which is now your flood fill tool you simply do slash none and tool unbound from current item I can s safely right click without anything happening so um, I think that's ever that's about it and uh, I hope you learned something from this, and I think uh, you guys are ready for uh, episode 8 of our Extreme World Edit tutorial. I hope to see you there.